Bridget, nothing going on. We do have three areas that the Hurricane Center is monitoring, two with a high chance of developing, but none of these, looking at long-range computer models, appear to be a threat to land at all. The one that's maybe of more interest is Invest 91, as it does try and organize. Certainly looks like it is getting that low-level circulation going. There was a pass from the National Hurricane, uh, the Hurricane Hunters earlier, and it does look like there is some low-level circulation, but the winds not not quite there to make this a depression or certainly not a storm yet. So the models start to get into a little bit more agreement, at least in the near future. And while there is a little bit of a spread in kind of the three to five day forecast, note that most of them do indicate that turn well away from the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos. And if it does make a more dramatic turn, maybe staying away from Bermuda altogether, which would be great news. Elsewhere, once we find these three systems in the next couple of days gone, Note that the computer models as we get beyond the weekend and early next week really are not indicating anything else. Again, the reason for these dual colors is a comparison of the GFS and the Euro. And yeah, there is a little bit of a spread, but note this is Invest uh, 93. Looks like it's going to remain fairly stationary. The area that we're watching 91 as it approaches the US will likely turn before ever reaching it. And then really nothing happens to that little wave that is coming off of Africa right now and nothing else developing toward the middle of next week. We may be starting September rather quiet. However, in September is still a very busy month. This is looking at all storms within 50 miles of New Orleans from September, October and November. And we do get a fairly active part of the season and we are still very much in the heart of hurricane season. But as I say, every day that nothing is going on is a good day.